Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is your boy Mason. Today I'll be doing a video about the language exchange apps that I've been using for maybe the past few months. And I don't know, I just want to make this video because I thought it would be really cool and interesting. Um, I'm not sure if there's a video like this already um, on YouTube, but um, anyways, I'm just I just really want to make this video. So the three language exchange apps that I'll be talking about in this video are Tandem, Meef, and HelloTalk. Also, just a quick um, disclaimer: um, the stuff that I'm gonna talk about in this video are based on my personal experiences, so it may not be true um, in all case in all case of scenarios for um, other people that are using this app just based on my experience so without further ado let's start shall we so the first um app i'm going to talk about is tandem so tandem is basically the icon of the, of the tandem app is basically a blue and like a pink oval icon with a little dot at the end and um i started i remember downloading this app last year like last april and at that time, I really want to learn Korean and then rust up on my musty like Chinese Mandarin skills. So, um, for, for the most part, I uh, really want to um, have a Korean language partner. Uh, but I didn't have that much luck um, finding any Korean language partners here. I, maybe I talked to one person, but that's about it. And um, I feel like on this app, you really have to try, you can't be scared. Um, you really have to try on taking the initiative to talk to people. So I think that's one of the things that I have to work on. And then um, I think it's a tip for everyone, um, um, whether you're using Tandem or like any other language app, um, I think it's best for you to, to take the initiative to talk to people. And so yeah, so on this app, as you can see, um, you can create your accounts um, through various methods. Like you can um, create an account through email, Facebook, or um, WeChat, etc. Um, and then after you create your account, you set um, you have to set a profile picture, and then you can also choose like um, five, six more pictures. So I have a total of seven pictures to. Um, have on your profile, but the six pictures are optional. You just need a um, profile picture that will be displayed for other people to see. And then this is where you get to choose, um, not choose, this is where you type in your information and your about me, languages, learning preferences, my topics, and then following. Um, you can follow people on this app. And then there are some things, um, there are some features you have to pay. Um, if you're curious on like who like visit your profile, if you want to find out, you're gonna have to pay for it. I'm not sure how much, but anyways, um, if you want to find people near you, you're gonna also have to pay for that. You need to upgrade to a Tandem Pro, so that's another um, additional feature that you're gonna have to pay. And then uh, I think so far these are like the only two features that I know you have to pay. Uh, there might be a bit more. Um, also, you can find tutors through this app. Um, of course, you're gonna have to pay um, for tutors. Um, as for how much you have to pay, it depends on how much a tutor charges. So some will charge $20 per month, some will charge $25, and really depends. And yeah, that's about it. I think this um, based on my personal experience with this app, um, I feel like it's easier for people to find you on this app when you first create your account. Um, but um, as time goes by, like, uh, I don't know, I guess your profile doesn't show up on like the, the today's featured learners list. Um, so you don't get as much people like um, visiting your profile or anything. Just based on my experience and what I think. Because it's been a year so far, and then um, I think it has been a while since someone has contacted me on this app. So, 
which is why I said you really have to take initiative to talk to people if you really want to find a language partner. So yeah, that's one of the setbacks. Another major setback is, uh, I guess not really major, but um, I feel like there's a bug on this app. For some reason, I couldn't change my profile picture, to, or, um, an, error keep, an error keeps popping up. So I think that's something that Tandem should address and fix on their app. And yeah, that's a, about it for Tandem. Okay, moving on. So the next app we have is Meave. So funny story um, about this app. I remember downloading this app because I saw an ad for it um, while I was like playing around my phone. And then I was at I was in Seoul at the time, and then I really wanted to find like a, a Korean language partner. So random, right? So I downloaded it, and then yeah, that's how it uh, that's how it came to be. So for this app, you first you create your account. Do I believe you can do like through Facebook, email, etc., whatever, and then you um, choose your profile picture. Um, you can also like um, you can also like upload um, additional pictures, but for the other person to see it, they have to like tap on your profile and they have to like um, swipe right. So um, yeah, one of the features on Meef, um is that for the, you can adjust your match options. So for uh, the map op match options. You can choose male or female. You can also choose both if you want um, for them to be on your list when you, need, you are looking for people to match. You can uh, set the age, you can like set around and adjust the scale on how old you want them to be, ideal age range. And then there's also the distance. You can adjust to your liking. For me, I put no limits. And then languages, um, this is uh, pretty important. Uh, nationality, I put, nationality, I put South Korea. And then also at the bottom, you could put, uh, you could um, either check or uncheck this part. But personally, I put, uh, I put a check on I am not interested in who has the same nationality. So yeah, and I think that's about it. There are some features that you can pay, but I really don't. Um, think you need to um, because you can just gain some of the rubies from just logging in daily and then you can like um, use rubies for like um, those additional features such as resetting or like um, opening creating a um, premium uh, chat room so yeah and then here um, this is where you get to basically, uh, it's kind of like Tinder style, I feel like. So you press the heart, that, me um, that means you're interested in that person. Press X, you're not interested. And then um, in order for you to like talk, um, you guys need a match. Um, how do you know you'll match? Um, it'll sh pop up on your ready to chat list. Here's the thing, you, you, you and the other person have 24 hours to create um, a chat room. After that 24 hours is passed, uh, then it's, um, then you can't like create a chat room with that person anymore. And then you're gonna have to find that person again, maybe like the next day or the following day. Um, I mean, yeah, that person will pop up again on your list. So yeah, so just be aware there's going to be some fake people on this app. And how do you know? Um, I think sometimes it's pretty obvious that it's an imposter because um, basically you can, um, I mean, once you read your profile, um, you kind of have a sense that um, they might have borrowed pictures from someone else. And then maybe like hours later, like a day later, they um, delete their profile. So I think that's one way to know that they're fake. Yeah, but um, I found like a few people on this app and I was able to, you know, hold a conversation with them and to, I, yeah, it's, I think it's okay so far. I've only been, I've only been using it for like two months. So we'll see how things go.
Okay, so the next um, language exchange app the, that I'll be talking about is Hello Talk. So on this app, it's quite different than Meef and um, Tandem. I consider this um, app pretty similar to Instagram. This is where you get to like post things on the moments page and then everyone's able to see them. Um, I've been uploading quite often on this app um, and I've been like garnering some likes and then I get like a few uh, comments on some of my posts and then um, yeah I think it's really fun. I think it's very fun to see um, other people's interests and hobbies on this app and then um, in, ter um, in terms of the learning language aspect, it's also pretty good because um, you can uh, you have people who re like record themselves speaking English, and then they really want um, native speakers to correct them, and then you know other people do do help them out by recording themselves, or they either or they can also you know make a comment on their pronunciation. So I think this is pretty great. And then there's also the, um, the match page. Uh, I don't really use this. I'm, I'm more focused on moments and then um, some of the chat messages I get from other people. And then um, and then on, on the moments page, sometimes you'll see like people with the crown, with that yellow crown. Uh, that basically means that they're very popular on this app. They have many followers, uh, which um, which I'm gonna get to right now. Um, you can follow people on this app and other people can follow you too. So currently I only have four followers and I'm ha and I'm following 17 people right now. And then um, in your ch um, in your chats rooms, um, you can also translate messages if you don't understand the other people's message. Which is a pretty great function, I must say. And then also, um, I think this is, a, this is a really great app. Um, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. So so far, Hello Talk is you know one of my favorite language exchange apps because I I don't know it's, I just find it really cool and, it, and interesting to see you know other people's um, language skills and also their hobbies on this app. Okay, so before I end this video, I just want to say that these language learning apps don't guarantee that you'll be able to learn the language fluently or that you'll be able to find like that, you know, that long-lasting friend, that long-lasting language partner. They're just helpful tools for you to learn the language. Um, so, um, yeah. At the end of the day, it depends on your um, willingness and your motivation to learn a language fluently. So for me, um, in order for me to learn Korean fluently, I'm going to have to practice every single day and then maybe use those uh, language learning apps to, um, you know, talk to more people, get some, um, you know, experience with a, a native speaker. So yeah. Okay, so that's it for my video. If you guys like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.